Hello again followers of Zaytuna channel wherever you are in the world we are taking a very Hello, beautiful guys. tour today in this beautiful area of Solomon's Pool. Solomon's Pool actually guys we are in Bethlehem not far from Bethlehem southwest of the city of Bethlehem in the village called Ertaz Al not far from also Al Khadr village called Al Khadr which means St. George yes and behind us is the famous three reservoirs of King Solomon or King Herod uh, known as the Solomon's Pools associated with the Bible book of Ecclesiastes yes, from there. right to link to the passage saying uh, I made myself pools from which to water the forest of growing trees beautiful verse in the Bible Ramsey right. there is also another tradition linked to Solomon the Magnificent or Suleiman al Kanuni Ottoman the, the Ottoman Sultan that ruled over here mm. during the Ottoman period uh, of course the pools date back from earlier an earlier stage dating back from the time of King Herod the Great who was also mentioned in the gospel the famous king that ordered the killing of the innocent infants of Bethlehem right. dating back from the first and second centuries so we promise you guys for a great adventure today stay with us stay with Zaytuna Beside the big history of Jerusalem, the busy activities of the city of Jerusalem, water has been always a problem in the city throughout history. Um, because if we talk about the city of Jerusalem, the holy city of Jerusalem, Jerusalem has only one main source of water, which is the Gihon Spring, or the village of, of Silwan, south of Masjid al-Aqsa, in the city of David or the village of Silwan. Yes, so. yes Ramzi, actually history has proven that water is the main obstacle right. for armies wanting to conquer Jerusalem. As you might remember from the second book of Chronicles, King Hezekiah diverted the water source from the Gihon Spring from outside, from outside the city walls into inside the city walls. Yeah, so during the conquest of the Assyrians. The Assyrians won't have access to the water and come into the city. Right. This actually happened in the year 701 BC. Behind me is one of the rectangular pools that was actually used up until 1967. It was first renovated during the Roman period, then during the Mamluk period, after that during the Ottoman period, and finally during the time of the British Mandate. Behind me we can see the old British pump that used to pump water from these pools and was actually used up until 1967. Actually guys, we are in the same area and behind me is the second pool collecting water from three main uh, springs from the south. The area of the south is more higher, is more elevated than the area of the north. If we talk about the city of Hebron, it's 920 meters above sea level, which helps these springs to flow down into these reservoirs. Hello again followers of Zaytuna channel. We are over here in this beautiful area of Solomon's Pools and behind me is actually the entrance to this beautiful castle. This is actually an Ottoman castle. The Ottomans ruled this country over here from about the year 1517 till 1917. Almost 400 years. This area over here or this castle was built by a sultan called Murat. Murat, right. Murat ruled this area and he used this castle over here as an inn or a khan or even a caravansaray, a small right. motel, for pilgrims coming all the way from, from the, the pilgrimage Hajj. of Saudi Arabia, coming to over here to stay for a few so nights like and then hotel. going to enter Jerusalem, the old city of Jerusalem, continuing to the Al-Aqsa Mosque and doing their prayers. And Salim, we can see a very nice inscription. Oh yeah, in beautiful Arabic. inscription over yeah. here. Okay. We can probably read the uh, opening verse of the Quran, which is Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. That's it all is, what I could read. Yeah. <laughs> Very difficult. <laughs> it is a dedicatory inscription, Ramzi, for yeah. the, probably the, the Sultan who built this area or who ruled this area. Okay. okay. 